So here's why I like the knife so much. One, two, three, four. She's dead. She doesn't know it yet, but she's dead. Welcome, everybody, to a new series on Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy came in, and we're going to start off a new series playing this mod. I have not played Ravenhurst in probably about three years. Uh, so there's been, I'm sure, lots of changes to it since then, so it should be pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, let's jump right in and uh, get started with the game settings. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that we are not going to play Ravenhurst on um, a nightmare speed during the day, okay? I have spent probably four hours in real life trying to figure out if there's some way to to uh, play this game on on nightmare speed during the day and I, I couldn't I couldn't get it to work I just kept dying over and over I tried a couple different things um you know to, to see if I could just figure out some way to make it work and it just wasn't working and you know it gets to a point where you know when you start to die that many times you're just banging your head against the wall it's not fun for me it's not fun for you guys to watch uh, so I do, you know, want you to know that I did give it the, the best shot that I could. But the problem with Ravenhurst, if you're not familiar with it, is it spawns so many zombies in. Uh, more more than Undead Legacy, more than Juarez UK, way more than Vanilla. And it just got to the point where it wasn't working. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to do that. I'm saying, you know, yeah, we might have been able to make it work, but I might have died a hundred times over before we got, our, you know, got uh, our feet under us, so to speak. And that's just, you know, nobody wants to watch that. I don't want to do it. You guys don't want to watch it. So, um, you know, Norm, and the reason I'm even saying this at all for it, anybody that's watching that's new to my channel is I usually play seven days on insane difficulty uh, on nightmare speed um, pretty much almost exclusively, but it's just not going to work with this mod. Okay. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what we are going to do. We are going to keep it on insane. Um, we're going to keep 90 minute day cycles like we used to do 18 hours in the day. Blood move frequency. We're going to just keep on every seven days. Not going to mess with that. Uh, the warnings disabled. Here's what we're going to have to change. <clears throat> so Here's the thing, guys. If, if we're going to change the speed of the zombies during the day, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and set them to walk. Okay, we're going to we're going to give ourselves a break during the day. We're going to make things um, manageable during the day, because remember, we're not talking one or two zombies. We're talking 15 to 20 zombies. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. There's that many zombies that the game spawns in on you. Um, and if they're all, you know, if they're all even jogging or sprinting, uh, it, we're still going to get overwhelmed. So I'm going to go ahead and set the zombie speed to walk during the day. But you'll notice that nighttime speed plus ferals plus blood moon will remain on nightmare speed. So this means that night, you know, we really have an incentive to get in and stay undercover at nighttime and not get detected. Okay, uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to leave everything else uh, the same. XP multiplayer will be on 100%. <clears throat> um, this game, or this mod rather, has slow progression. And I, I want to kind of experience that all the way through and not, you know, water it down, so to speak, by putting the multiplier up like I have done, uh, like I did on Warriors UK. Uh, so we're going to keep that the same. And then if we go to advanced, uh, all of this is the same settings that I always use. Uh, basically, there's no uh, loot, respawning loot. We drop everything on death. We have a 32, uh, 32 enemy blood moon count because 64 is a bit much for my machine while I'm recording. And of course, we have air drops disabled. Okay, so those are our settings. Um, we're going to, uh, I already generated a random gen uh, map for this. Um, the, the seed is my birthday backward. If you guys want to play on the same uh, map seed, uh, which is going to be 7691 because I was born in 1967. So if you want to generate a world uh, and play on the same world as I can, you can, but um, you know, just remember not to give any spoilers if you do decide to do that. And yeah, those are our settings. So yeah, let's do this. I have a feeling like, um, you know, the daytime's going to be um, easier. It's going to be easier for us because, you know, normally we're dealing with nightmare speed during the day too, but it's not going to be easier because we have so many more zombies. And so with these settings, you know, we, we really need to be, make sure that we're in at night. Um, and that's one thing that's going to make this playthrough a little bit different than my normal playthroughs because usually when i play on insane nightmare speed all the time i you know being out at night is not that big of a deal because the zombies are running all the time anyways but in this case <coughs> excuse me with the quantity and the types of zombies that come out at night because i'm i was seeing i was seeing like feral whites out at nighttime on day one you know 
with those kinds of zombies around, yeah, we don't we do not uh, want to be out at night. So so we're gonna you know play this in the more traditional sense where nighttime is absolutely not gonna work. Uh, so that means we have to get everything done during the day and then during the night, you know, we try and craft or mine or just hunker down in fear until <laughs> until the morning comes. So anyways, all right guys, I will meet you in the game and we will get started. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's get started. So I'll go ahead and pause the screen if you want to, <coughs> excuse me, read this. I've already uh, read through it before. And this is the second screen. Pause the screen again if you want to read that. And then what we're going to do is get started with uh, our crafting. So, well, like I said, I have spent about four hours or so um, running through Ravenhurst uh, in the early game, trying to get it to work on insane uh, not, I'm sorry, not insane. Nightmare speed during the day. Wasn't able to do it, ultimately, like I mentioned. Uh, but what I did do is kind of learn uh, at least the very beginning part of the game and the things that we need to do. So if you're not familiar with Ravenhurst, basically we have to jump through a whole bunch of hoops uh, in the beginning of the game here uh, just to even make something as basic as like a wood frame and a stone axe. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. That was weird. Uh, now, uh, so... Let's go ahead and we got to gather uh, eight cotton and we got to craft a uh, plant cordage. So instead of using straight up plant fiber for stuff, we have to first turn it into cordage. Uh, for the most part, I like the, um, you know, the system here because it's a little more realistic. Uh, you got to, it's, it, oh, shyster. Where did that wolf come from? Um, yikes. Uh, it's it's more involved, but it's also more realistic too, and I I could certainly appreciate that. So, wow, wasn't expecting to see a wolf. Uh, let's stay away from him because we have absolutely no means of killing him at the moment. Let's get the cotton that it wants us to get. Okay, now it wants us to craft a bedroll. Let's do that next. And while we're doing that, let's continue to pick stuff up. Uh, we need rocks. We need stone. We're gonna need more plant fiber for all kinds of things. Um, and now it wants us to take and put the bedroll down. We'll deal with our class once we get our personal workstation set up. Okay, bedroll's down. We'll pick that back up because this, of course, is not going to be our actual spawn point. Going to get rid of the cotton for now and the chrysanthemum. I don't need that stuff at the moment. Uh, likewise, I know we can eat insects. We're not going to eat insects right now. Okay, now we need to gather sticks. So uh, we do that by hitting these little shrub, shrub plants here. It's the easiest way to do it. And we're going to continue to pick up stones also whilst we're gathering sticks because we're going to need stones for other things as well. And we got our sticks and now we have to do eight fiber cordage. Fiber cordage is done. Now we have to craft our personal workstation. If you're new to the mod, Ravenhurst requires you to make a personal crafting station uh, to make a lot of the things that you otherwise could just make in your inventory in vanilla. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Uh, and once you make this and set it down, you can pick it back up uh, and take it with you by just breaking it. it. puts it back in your inventory, which is also nice. Okay, let's take a personal crafting station, set it down. Uh, this does not show up on the compass, and so what we're going to do is put a, a mark point in, uh, in case we, we lose it when we're gathering more materials. Okay, now, before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and do our class quest. So we're going to read this little book here. Uh, go ahead and pause the screen and read that if you want to. Okay. Um, now we're going to take and put this into the personal crafting station. Um, uh, wait a minute. No, we're not. We're going to go to recipes. Actually, yeah, we do need... We do not need. Yes, we do need... Uh, we can't access the class that we want. Let's see, it doesn't give us the option. We have to actually be in the workstation to do that. Okay, so speaking of which, we're going to do something different. I'm actually going to go with blade class. I've never done blade class as a beginning um, skill tree in this game ever, not even uh, on vanilla or any other mod. So I want to try something a little different. One of the nice things about doing the blade class, uh, there's a couple nice things about it. The first nice thing about it is that it has the bleed effect. Okay, and so that's going to help us kill zombies uh, with less, uh, durability wear on the, on the weapon. Uh, so let's read this here. Go ahead and pause that again. If you want to read it. Nice. Okay. So uh, we got a couple things now. We got ourselves a, a green, um, bone knife. We got this little book here, which we're going to read, which is going to give us 15 skill points right out of, out, off the bat there. Uh, Ravenhurst is one of those mods that, uh, allows us to to learn by doing, which I really like. 
And uh, let's see, we got some bandages, we got some trail mix, we got a couple of mineral waters, and we got a land claim block uh, out of all that. So pretty nice. Let's put this stuff down here too. And um, we're going to just throw out the bugs, even though we're going to get more before it's all said and done. Okay, cool. So next thing we're going to do now is we need to craft ourselves a, a stone axe. Uh, so we need to gather some more sticks. So let's do that now. Okay, we got the sticks. Uh, we need to gather some more plant fibers. We need to craft four cordages. And we need to craft five sharp stones. Out of the stones we've picked up. Okay, let's go back over to our, our little workbench here. Which we marked on the map so we haven't lost it. Okay, now we're going to craft a primitive handle and a stone tool head. Put both of those things into our inventory, and we can now craft the stone axe. And that's all That's all. You have, all, all the steps you have to go through to make a stone axe in the beginning of Ravenhurst. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind it because it's realistic. Okay, now we need to gather wood logs. So uh, when you cut trees in Ravenhurst, you don't get straight up wood like you do in Finale. You actually get logs, and then you have to turn those logs into wood. Okay, let's just get a little bit more. We go back into our workstation and we turn the logs that we just um, harvested there into wood. Okay, now we have the wood and once we have the wood, we can craft wood or turn wood right directly into sticks. We no longer have to harvest them from the little shrubs. Uh, even though we have seven sticks in our inventory, it doesn't give us credit for that for some reason. So we're just going to have to make more. So I'm just going to turn all of these into sticks. That's going to give us a whole crap ton of sticks. Uh, but we're going to need them for, for other things too, like arrows and, and whatnot. So we're getting credit right up here in the upper right hand corner. Okay, we've, we've finished that. Let's put these sticks in here. We have a few more making up, but that's okay. Uh, we need to gather some more blind fiber, so let's do it. And we need to do four more cordage. Get that done, and we're gonna need to make some more sharp stones, five more. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna make ourselves a stone pickaxe. The, um, is that a goat? There's a goat walking around over there. Um, you can't, um, you can't use the stone axe on boulders. I mean, you can, but you, you get hardly anything from it. So you want to actually use the stone pickaxe itself. Okay, so let's do a primitive handle once again. And this time we're going to do a stone pickaxe tool head. Put those in our inventory and craft ourselves a stone pickaxe. Very nice. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, now we need to collect some ore. So we're going to basically... Um, actually, let's just pick this up and take it with us. You can't store anything in any containers uh, in, in Ravenhurst. You have to make your own containers to store stuff in. So let's run over to this boulder here. And we're going to gather all the stuff in the upper right-hand corner uh, for the next part of the quest. And yes, Ravenhurst gives us um, the other resources from boulders, again, like old school seven days to die to do, which is really nice. Okay, let's get this stuff. Okay, so we got everything. Uh, from that, now we're going to do the clothing. So we need to do some, we need to gather more plant fibers and more, make more cordage. We need both cordage and plant fibers to make the plant fiber clothing. Okay, we're going to set our little workbench down here and we're going to make and wear the clothing. Now it wants us to craft the wooden club. Um, so to do that, we're going to, uh, actually make neat, we need some more wood here. Work mouth. Okay, let's craft the club and keep turning the rest of these logs into more wood. <coughs> we'll put the club down there, but we're probably not going to use it. Okay, now we need to gather more wood. Um, so here, let's stop. You have to be, you have to stay in the crafting station to get, you know, credit, uh, for the, the quests. Um, when it's a, a crafting station item. Okay, so now we need more of this. Okay, we need three cordage. Wants us to craft 22 sticks. Um, we should be able to do that in here. So we get three. I think we get three per, right? Yeah, we get three per. Okay. Uh, so let's just do like, say, another nine. Okay, wants us to do stone arrowheads. So we make those in here. Uh, we get two per, so let's make 10 for 20. 
and it wants us to do arrow shaft. Again, that takes uh, two feathers and two sticks, and we get to two. So let's make, uh, oh, I guess we can only make seven of those. Okay, let's put that stuff in there. And once we have the arrow heads and the shafts in here, then we can make the actual stone arrows themselves. So we'll make total 14, and we'll work on getting more of that stuff later. Just throwing a couple more things out here that we don't need right now. We'll eat this. Uh, oh, it wants us to do a bow, so let's craft that as well. Bow is done. We'll put that in the second slot. Um, can we scrap this? We can't. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to use the damn club. Okay, now what we have to do is we need to find trash bags. So we're going to pick this back up. And uh, so, like I said earlier, you can't store anything in any containers in the world in Ravenhurst. You have to make your own containers. And uh, in the early game, the way to do that is to gather trash bags. You have to gather three of them, and then you can create your own trash bag storage. You can also use duffel bags if you find them and backpacks and stuff. However, the duffel bags and the backpacks don't have as... Oh, nice. We got a vitamin. Uh, don't have quite as many storage slots as the trash bags do. On the other hand, you don't have to find three of them to make one. So, you know, they're both, basically, they're both useful. You're going to want to do both of them. Let's grab all these birds' nests. Okay, we got one little uh, trash thing here. Let's loot it first. Okay, and then we'll pick it up. There's one. We need to find two more. Okay, here's a couple more. And one more over here. Okay, uh, now let's set our bench down and make ourselves a trash storage. I'm gonna make a couple more uh, arrow shafts too so we can use the rest of these uh, arrows up. Uh, let's see. Put that there. Make some more st stone arrows. Okay, put that down to satisfy the quest. We're just gonna pick it right back up though because we're not gonna set this down until we find our actual base location. Okay, now we need to find uh, bent nails in order to make straight nails in order to then make wood frames. Uh, so bent nails you can find uh, if you can find like the boards that uh, you know, you can find a around on the ground. You can use make or you can get bent nails from those. You can sometimes get them from taking apart. Um, I'm gonna take that. I don't think I'm gonna take that because inventory space is super precious right now. Uh, if or, or if you start taking apart like things like wood rails, stairs, block, block, blah, 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 blocks, that sort of thing, you can do it. Man, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my mouth today. I'm not drunk. I promise. Okay, so yeah, let's look for the wood frames. We might be able to get some from taking this apart too. This is one of those things that we have to rip off, like tear it apart. No, that didn't give us any nails. Um, This will probably give us some nails. Nope, we got charcoal out of that. No nails. Oh shit. Are we standing in fire? We were standing in fire. We didn't need that. Uh, what about... That's not going to give us nails. Now, maybe it will. Let's look. We got glass. Okay, what about this? We're getting boards. There we go. We got nails from the actual frame underneath. Let's get rid of the glass and the coal. We don't need that right now. Um, okay, so we got two bent nails there. What I'd actually like to do is make say about six wood frames in total and so we need uh we're gonna need 24 nails to do that what if we can we get nails yeah we can get nails out of chairs so that's good uh, let's not stand in the fire this time get nails from those chairs let's grab anything to drink out of here uh, which is not a damn thing what about the coffee maker Two things of coffee. Very nice. Stamina boost if we need it. And some water. Let's drink the water right now. And let's also eat these nuts. We only get one thing of food, but 
they're easy to gather because you just get them from grass. The trail mix here gives us 20 food, so let's also eat one of those just to kind of keep on top of things. I don't want to get super hungry or thirsty because then that's going to cause us uh, problems later on. Okay, let's go in here. Sometimes there's a zombie in here. What's in the janitor's cart? Um, that will take, that we won't. Does this just give us paper, probably? Oh, it's noon. Okay, let's loot the desk here. Yeah, so what, what we have to do, um, pretty quickly here, we don't want to dally around, dilly-dally around too much, um, is we want to find, we need to figure out where we're going to spend the night, because we do not want to be out at nighttime. No sirree bob. Absolutely not. We get wood from that. Okay, I'll bet you we get nails from the stairs and the rails here. I'm not... So oh, here we go. Okay, so this, this like, little piece of plywood thing... Oh, shit, we just got dysentery. Oh, no. This doesn't cure dysentery, does it? Son of a bitch. I just now realized it. I saw a little poopy thing. Oh, yeah, whatever. We'll have to deal with it now. It's going to tank our stamina. Uh, yeah, so we're getting nails uh, from that stuff. Uh, these are the boards I was actually looking for here. So these will give us nails too. So we want a total of, like I said, 24, so we can make a total of six. Does this give us nails? Uh, six uh, wood frames. Oh, shit, we broke our axe. Okay, so when that happens, we need to make a new one. Now, here's the thing. The mod has a what's called a primitive repair kit. And it's supposed to repair your axe from what I understand, but every time I've tried to use it, it destroys my axe. Um, so we can't really rely upon it. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is make, I think we're going to need to make a total of four or five recordages. Uh, we're going to need to make um, a handle. So the primitive handle requires uh, the cordage. We're going to need to make five sharp stones. And then uh, we need to make the tool head. So we have to basically make the damn thing over again. And then we should make, <coughs> excuse me, be able to make a new stone axe. Okay, yeah, so there's this thing called a primitive um, repair kit. But, uh, again, every time I've tried to use it, it just destroys the axe. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong um, or if there's another thing that's causing that. I'm not sure. Can we get nails from pallets? Let's take a look. Yes, we can. Nice. Makes sense, because pallets have lots of nails in them. Okay, how many nails do we currently have? We have uh, 14. Okay, so we need 10 more. Uh, there's more boards here. We were working on those. We should start seeing Zikaruskis any time now, I'm thinking. Okay, we still only have 14 nails. What the hell, man? Let's hit these boards. Can't believe we got dysentery from that frickin' water. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. You can't um, you can't drink straight up water. Well, you have a 10% chance of getting dysentery if you drink just normal boiled water. I completely forgot about that. Well, shit. That's why, well, yeah, literally shit. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Okay, so yeah, I mean, coffees, teas, mineral waters, that stuff's fine, but it's just the, the boiled water, 10% chance. And so there's a thing you can make. Uh, it's basically like a little water filtration system to, f to you know, to work with that. Um, and maybe the, yeah, water filtration unit, this thing here. Uh, so I'm sure probably the quest will show us how to do that before we're completely done through the tutorial. Okay, so when you, we now have 22 nails. We need just two more. What about barrels? Do we get nails from barrels? Would seem to make sense that we do. Yep, we got one and two. Okay, so we have a total of 24 nails. What we're going to do is set down our thingamadoodle here, and we're going to make 24 straight nails. And now we can make the wood blocks. Uh, but let's go ahead and let the nails finish. We don't need to stay in there to get credit 
for the quest. And while we're waiting for that, let's just cut some more wood. Okay, so we got our 24 nails. Um, now, wood frame blocks. So this requires 12 wood and four nails. So we can make a total of five, but then we're going to have to make um, some more wood, uh, which we'll get going right now. Okay, it wants us to place one of these, which we're going to do. I'm not going to do the actual upgrade yet, though. We'll just get take it that far. Okay, so we'll wait for this wood, and then the next uh, order of business here is we need to figure out where we're going to set up our base. Now we could, we could do it on top of the booby trap. We could do it on top of Zoe's salon. Uh, but let's just, we have a little bit more time. So let's just keep looking around before we make our ultimate decision. Okay, so we can apparently set up honeycombs too. Oh, which is nifty. And then let's make our final wood frame here. Cool, that gives us six wood frames that we can now use. All right, anything we don't need right at the moment, because we are two slots over in cupboard. We'll probably be able to find the bees easy enough later on. Honestly, we don't need the brass right now. I mean, I kind of hate to throw it away, but we just don't need it. Let's throw out the cloth. That's easy to get to. Okay, let's start looking around for a potential base location. So we do have booby trap, which we could do. Uh, I, I want to be on a pretty stout building. Uh, and probably on top of it for nighttime. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, there's our first victim. So here's why I like the knife so much. One, two, three, four. She's dead. She doesn't know it yet, but she's dead. Because she's going to bleed out. She's also running fast. See, she's dead. Um, Biker takes a few more than just four hits, though. I don't. He he probably takes six or seven. I don't know. Anyway, the zombies are here now. Yay yeah, us! Let's try and evade these guys and get over here. So this building here could be a good solution. Um, but we'd have to clear it out. Ooh, look at that big old mansion place over there. That could be an interesting proposition, too. Um. Okay. Oh, and you, guess what? There's horses in this mod. There are horses in this mod. So we could try and break in here and see if we could clear the place. Um, This would be a really good place for us to, to base up if we could clear it. But I don't know what kind of Zeeks we're talking about inside of there. Um, let's take out Ronnie McDonnie here. He's moving fast. He's in enraged mode. He's going to die any second here. Nope, we gotta hit him one more time. He almost died. Okay, so yeah, four or five hits or so uh, to kill those guys. All right, so do we want to try and get in here? Look at that place, man. That is awesome. I think I think I've actually been in that place in War of the Walkers like th years ago, like three years ago is the last time I played that. Um. There's, that's probably not going to be easy. Oh, we got a trader here too. Nice. Okay. That is probably not going to be easy to clear though. I would say the first place we looked at is going to be a little easier. Okay. We gave him five hits. He's a little tougher though than... Some of the other ones. Oh, we can't get up there. Yeah, there are so many Zeeks around. You guys, if you guys can just imagine, if these were all on nightmare speed with this many, that's that's why I couldn't make it work. It was so freaking hard. You should be going down anytime there, bruh. 
There, he's dead. And we're not hitting the pig. Yeah, see, we got the damn dysentery thing going on. We're crap on our pants, man. Alright, let's take Steve out. I think we should try and just get away from these guys right now. It's it's just going to be too hard for me to kill them with the dysentery taking away our stamina. Um, so let's see if we can draw them away. I don't know. Maybe what we ought to do is just let's secure the top of the booby trap just so we have a place. Because I don't, I don't know what kind of a fight I'm going to be in for in that other place. Uh, we're not going to do that one, at least not right now, maybe later on. Um. So, yeah, let's just get up here. And, you know, we're probably going to have... I'm sure we're going to have sleepers up here. Hopefully we don't have vultures, because vultures could be a bit of a of a problem. So, you know, we can't, we can't nerd pull, right? So we have to do a uh, stair step to get up buildings. Uh, which is partly why I wanted to make sure we had plenty of extra frames. I think I mentioned that to you guys earlier, didn't I? About the... Um, the fact that you can't um, nerd pull. Okay. I'm not worried about zombos. We can kill them. I'm a little concerned about vultures, though. Are we going to run into vultures up here? We could have some dudes in there. You know what? I'm not going to waste an arrow. We'll just let them break out if that's where they are. Oh, shit. There is a vulture over there. Oh, that could really mess us up. Okay. Let's go around this way. There's two buzzards over there. Got a purse here. $56, make it holla. Well, what we could do is hit the, the buzzard with an, an arrow and then, you know, get a bleed effect on him. But we're probably going to take some hits ourselves. Uh, we're at 100% health, and we have two medikits. If the thing is, though, is if they if they infect us, uh, it's not going to go well for us. But you know what? We got to deal with this. So here we go. I gotta aim higher. This bow has so much drop on it. There we go. Oh, that went well. That went really well. Okay. We have to kill this other one too, though. And I think there are some sleepers in there because I heard them. Nice. We one shot that sucker. All right. That went very well. Okay. Um, let's harvest this guy. What are we getting? Bone fragments. Oh, that's new. Uh, okay. Let's deal with the sleepies uh, that are in here. We're, we are six things over encumbered. Uh, so let's set down... Let's set this down so we can just kind of lighten up a little bit. Uh, if we, We'll probably just end up putting our land claim block down here, too. Well, let's just put things in here that we don't need to be carrying around with us right this moment. So we're light and agile. Uh, we'll keep that stuff. I don't think we're going to even use that at all. And, you know, let's actually put our bedroll down, too. Okay. Let's go deal with the sleepers that I think we have in here, and then we have a place secured for the night. 
Again, this is not necessarily going to be our our permanent base, uh, but at least it gets us secured for tonight. And I, you know, the other thing is, I'm not sure if there's a way up here from inside the building. We're gonna have to check that too. All right, let's see if those four hits are enough to take him out. Yep, he did. I'm loving this knife, you guys, man. I really am. That is so useful. Okay, we do have a thing here. Um, and it looks like they could climb up on the desk to get up there. Oh, oh shit! Get up there! What the hell? I can't get up the freaking ladder. Oh, shoo. Okay. That was close. That could have not gone well for us. Man, we got an abrasion too. Okay, let's take this. Okay. Unbelievable. Wow. I'm glad we put the sleeping bag down, man. I am glad we put the sleeping bag down. I was going to wait till I had cleared the whole thing, but that was the right move. Holy crap, I can't believe we got killed. Well, you know, my health was pretty low. Um and so he whacked us. Okay, we did get the we did manage to get the um, that thing closed. So we need to get our bag without him tagging us. Can I reach it from here? Can't quite get it from there. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're good. So, I don't know if the Zombos will try and damage that or not. I think it might mess with their AI. But, I don't know. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Well, we took care of our dysentery problem, but we got our XP deficit, um, and we are hurting for food and drink, too, so I think we get half food and half drink when we resurrect. So let's just drink both of these now and eat all of this trail mix. This guy should be dead pretty quick. Yep, there he goes. Serves you right, you bastard. Can't believe you killed us, man. Well, I can believe you killed us. <laughs> Just wasn't expecting it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So that should take care of our food and drink situation. Um, so yeah, I uh I was trying to you know break that desk, but we just didn't get that far. I don't mind, you know, getting a couple of these guys up here so we can actually take them out. Can he get up here? I don't think he can. He acts like he can't do it. All right, hopefully that's enough of a bleed effect on him. So as long as, you know, they can't climb up the ladder and bang on the hatch, which I don't think they can do, uh, we're, we should be fine here. We should be fine here. That sucks that we died once, but you know, whatever. It happens. It happens. It really does. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go over to approximately the middle of this area. We're going to set this down, which will stop new spawns. Um, and let's just kind of put our bedroll over here, too. And we should be safe up here, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any way they're going to be able to get up through there. 
So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to set up shop um, kind of in this corner here. Uh, we'll, we'll just get a whole bunch of trash cans and duffel bags and stuff and, and line them up. We'll put our little workstation here. And this is going to be our, our first base. Um, but again, how long we actually end up staying here just kind of remains to be seen. This is certainly not going to be our permanent base for the whole series because uh, uh, I there, there are some pretty cool POIs in Ravenhurst. Uh, that we want to check out that we might take over uh, or you know we might even build something on our own i would like to investigate that building some more though as a, po a potential you know first base too that house over there is badass that would be really fun to stay in but uh, clearing that thing is going to be a chore and probably not something we're ready to do quite yet okay guys well i'm gonna let you go in this episode uh i think uh we are in a pretty good position all things considered and uh, I will, like I said, get some stuff situated here. And then um, I think I'm going to probably just wait out the night um, and bring you guys back in episode two tomorrow. Unless something absolutely crazy happens during the night. But I'm not expecting that it will. We're just going to kind of hunker down, be quiet, not really do anything much at all. Um, and then we'll start up episode two tomorrow morning. And then, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll just kind of get some things organized here tonight. And now, you know, this probably goes without saying, but I'm not going to go out at night and do stuff like I normally would um, because of the fact that this is Ravenhurst. <laughs> um, so we're, we're but you know, we're going to hunker down at night and, you know, try and do some crafting and mining when, when we get to the point where we can do that sort of thing and not really do any action at nighttime. So that's how we're going to treat this playthrough because I think that's the way we need to treat it if we want to survive. Uh, anyway, okay, that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.